this quote really kills me. My mother is the only person left who knew me as a kid, so therefore there should be no secrets between us. I don't want any secrets between us. Yeah. But don't you think a mother and son should have some well, secrets? It's not so much secrets. Just I don't think there should be anything left unsaid. Like for me, my dad died when I was 10, and I used to have this fantasy that he had maybe written me a letter, and the letter would show up when I turned 18 or when I turned 21. It would tell me all the things I didn't know about him. It would tell me everything he wanted for my life. And, of course, there wasn't any letter. And I realized I didn't want the same thing with my mom. And so when she's no longer here, I didn't want there to be all this stuff like, who was this person? And so we set out to kind of change the conversation between us. You and your mom email each other. Right, yeah. That's the thing, and that's that's what started it. That's how we, we, on our 91st birthday, we started basically a new, we like consciously started a new kind of conversation. And it is, isn't it amazing? No embarrassment, but isn't it amazing your mother at 91 even has email? Like my parents are, (laughs) they are not even open to it. She got on email at 90, and I couldn't, I couldn't do it it, it, because it drove me nuts. She didn't know, so I I got a friend of mine to do it who's much more patient than me. Who sat there with her and explained it. Explained it over and over and over again. But at least she was open to it. Oh, and it it just changed her life. See, your mother is a very unusual woman. Number one, she lived an unusual (laughs) life. Yeah, but she's open to things. You know what I mean? Yes. No, believe me, she's open to a lot of things. Yeah. And even like open about speaking about her love life. You know most people would close down. Yeah. But what an impressive list. I mean, your mother dated Errol Flynn. Errol Flynn. When I was a kid, I was a big actor. I'd watch like an old movie. I remember watching Robin Hood with Errol Flynn when I was like 10 years old with my mom. And I turned to her and said, do you ever know Errol Flynn? And she'd be like, oh, yes. <laughs> and she'd sort of drift away. Is uh, it a mother's obligation to, even though she had slept with him, isn't it her obligation to not include you in that? Do you think she was well, inappropriate she, with she you? She didn't know. She didn't. She wouldn't go into gory details. And, right. and yeah. I mean, Oh, I fucked that guy. Yeah. Right, exactly. Right. <laughs> oh my but God. you got to know that sort of reverie that yes. she'd I mean, go she into. Did, she does write about in the book that Howard Hughes was the first person who made her uh, have an orgasm without faking it. I was like, I don't really need to know that. <laughs> did you ask her if, how, because Howard Hughes was an infamous sufferer of OCD. Couldn't right. germs, you know, the whole thing. Right, but this was hot Howard Hughes, not crazy top of the desert yeah, in Vegas. Yeah, at the beginning Howard. he was. But, he, but even yeah. then, apparently she was saying that he would eat the same thing every meal, which frankly I do as well. Me too. Yeah. Do you really? Yeah, yeah. But I have a little of that OCD, a lot of that OCD. See, I go for like six months at a time eating the same thing every day. Me too. And I wear the same thing every day. It's just less decisions. Who wants, who cares? And you become obsessive. Yes. Yeah. I I believe that's why Hillary Clinton has switched to this sort of (laughs) outfit that she wears. She doesn't want to have to, like a guy, she doesn't want to decide every day what to wear. I read that President Obama does the same thing, that he has like a blue suit and a gray suit, and it, it just two less decisions he has to make every day. Absolutely. But, I mean, you know, when you read the book, you know, your mother at 28 dates Frank Sinatra. Who's right. like, it's like dating the Beatles at that point. Oh, I know, yeah. Is it, it nonchalant kind of explanations from your mother, or is it like a big deal that she dated Frank Sinatra? No, I mean, it's it seems normal to her. I mean, she's like, Frank Sinatra came along, he was playing at the Copacabana in New York, and uh, he contacted a friend and wanted to go out with her, and she left her husband because she, she was looking for a way to get out of the marriage, and she was married to a guy who was... She met him. She was 21. He was 63. Wow. Genius conductor, Leopold Sikowski. Yeah, right. She claims he didn't look 63. I'm like, Mom, he looks like 63 to me. (laughs) But what's so, yeah, I mean, she was 21 and married a 63-year-old. And not like, I mean, she was 21 and very wealthy and married a 60. It wasn't like, you know. She married him for love. Right, yeah. Your mother was a wealthy woman. Didn't need to marry a 63-year-old guy. She is unbelievable, this woman. (laughs) She really is. Yeah. Why in the document? She described, in the book, she described somebody who she was dating at 85 as the Nijinsky of Cunnilingus. <laughs> so the I guy like, that I had to look up Nijinsky. Nijinsky is right. a ballet. Yeah, uh, like a modern dancer, ballet dancer, very limber, I assume. You're uh, saying there was some guy who w- did perform Cunnilingus on your mother when she was 85. Apparently, yes. And he was so he good was at it. He was that good. Yes. Wow. I, my mom just thought it was funny. I was like, oh, jeez, mom, I don't need to hear this. She said to you he was the Nijinsky yeah, of yeah, Cunnilingus. Yeah, yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, my mother... My mother You're a different <laughs> mom, What right? a different thing. Really? <laughs> but isn't it great that you really know your mother? It is. It's cool. And that she knows me as an adult, you know, and, 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 and that we're able to, like, basically kind of replay all these things that happened between us and see them from different perspectives. Now, Are like, you we, as open with her? Uh, no. I mean, I'm, I, yeah, I'm open with her, but I, like, I'm not going into details of, like, you The know, sex life. Yeah. 